Hello everybody, this is the video tutorial of Xexpress One Page Lite and in this video I'll show you how to configure some of the sections in your website's homepage with the help of this theme. Well, in this video I'll show you how you can configure this blog section, this call to action section and this testimonial section. Let me start with the blog section. For this you need to log into your WordPress, then, in, then go to appearance and then click on customize. In customize you'll find home page setting click there now this is the section that we are gonna configure that is blog section you need to first enable this section to show in uh, websites home page then you need to pay put section menu text then you can put section title then you can select title color from there for this uh, blog section you will need to select a category which I'm going to show you how you can do in a while then you need to put blog view all text I'm just going to put view all then you can select a background color or a background image then save and publish now as you can see we need to select a category for this so I'm going to show you how you can do this we need to go to post then click on categories you need to make a new category and click on add now that your category is made you can start adding post in it click on add new you can start uh, you can put a blog title then you can put content I'm gonna get my dummy content from here then you need to select this block category you created for it now set a feature image I'm gonna upload a new image file from my computer then set it as a feature image and publish in similar way I'm gonna make two more posts process the same to select the category and set a feature image let me make one more make sure to check uh, the category you created now that we have made three blog posts now let's refresh this customized page so that we can select that category now let's select the category we created which is blog and then click on save and publish now after this let's go to our front end and see how will this, that section appear this is the front end of our website and uh, here is our blog section so the next section that I'm going to show you how to configure is this call to action section so for this again go to customize and then click on call to action section enable this section and put a section menu text call to action and then you can put a description uh, then you can select a uh, content color your button text I'm just gonna write um, then you can put a button link that you want your website viewers to go to then you can select a background color or a background image where here I'm gonna select a background image
after you have selected the background image you will find this number of options for the in that image setting well I'm gonna do some settings that is for background repeat I'm gonna put no repeat then background position center background attachment fixed and background size uh, I want I want it to cover all the section and you can enable this background overlay to have like a deem image kind of effect after that you can save and publish now let's again refresh our front end and see how will that appear as you can see this is our call to action section which is pretty much as in our demo site now the third section that I'm gonna show you is this testimonial section so for this again go to customize and here is the testimonial section just below call to action now enable this section put a section menu text put the section title then you can select section title color content color and everything for this also you will need to make a category and add post so I'm going to show you in a while before that you can save and publish these settings now here to select the category you need to make one so let's again go to post and then click on category now make the testimonial category click on add new category now your category is added now start adding post in it you need to click on add new now in title you can put uh, the name of the person who is giving you testimonial maybe then you can put their testimonial there small sentence maybe then check the category you created for it and you can set a feature image of that company or that company's representative or anyone so I'm gonna put an image and set it as a feature image and then publish it now similarly I'm gonna add one more testimonial so I'm gonna put a person's name put its testimonial select the category and then set a feature image I'm gonna select a picture and then publish it now that we have made a category and added post in it now let's refresh our customized page go to home page setting and go to testimonial section now select the category we created that is testimonial and then click on save and publish now let's refresh this our front end now here you will find your testimonial same as in our demo site that is with the sections title picture and everything so in this way you can configure your three sections that is blog section your uh, call to action section and uh, your testimonial section so about other two sections that we have in our theme I'm going to be explaining in my next video so if you have any confusion till here you can always refer to our online documentation which has got every steps on doing how, on doing so and if you uh, other or you can also comment to me down uh, below this video and I'll reply to you as soon as possible so sorry about that thank you very much take care